I used Kat Von D Lolita and Exorcism Liquid Lipsticks in my brows. For the eye look, I'm going to start with Wonderland Cosmetics Sub Yellow Shadow and this Cosmetics Blending Brush. And I'm going to apply this to my upper crease area as my transition shade. And then I'm going to go in with Melt Cosmetics Unseen and a MAC 239 brush. And I'm applying this to my crease. Next I'm going in with this Sedona Lace EB09 brush. I have a discount code below, go check it out. And I am just blending out that shadow. And then I'm taking Melt Cosmetics Love Sick with the same MAC 239 brush. And I'm applying this to my crease as well. Kind of going back and forth and kind of blending it. But then picking up the Sedona Lace brush to blend that out and soften the edge. Also adding more of Sub Yellow to help diffuse that color. Also, I had no idea where I was going with this at this point. Um, I watched Star Wars the night before I did this, so I think that kind of stuck in my head and that's how I came up with this. So now I'm going in with Suva Beauty's Bristol Hydro Cream Base, activating that with MAC Fix Plus, and taking this paintbrush, and I am cutting out the crease with this, but I'm also applying this to my lid. And then I didn't feel like doing a normal cut crease look, so instead I decided to take the wing down. So I'm drawing that downwards. Just following it and making it downwards. Filling in the rest of the lid. And then going to connect them so that it's like a downwards wing. And next I'm going in with Wonderland Makeup, the Golden Orange Loose Pigment with this Sigma E56 brush, which I have sprayed with Fix Plus. And I'm applying this to the outer half of the lid. Okay, actually at this point, I don't think I had sprayed my brush with Fix Plus. Now I sprayed it with Fix Plus and see how it's going on much more smoothly and easily. So yeah, just continuing to apply that to the outer half of my eye. And actually, I think that using it so wet on top of the Hydro Cream base kind of made it separate. So that's something to think about. Next, I'm going in with Wonderland, Wonderland Makeup Sage Pigment with the same Sigma E56 brush. And I'm applying this to the inner half of my eye. Again, green on top of orange. You guys probably think I'm crazy. Still didn't know where I was going with this, but you know. And then I'm sort of fading the colors back and forth to help them blend together. Then I'm going in with MAC Nylon in my Bare Minerals Shader Brush. And I'm highlighting my brow bone. This is my favorite highlight, brow highlight color ever. I am sure you guys have noticed. <laughs> And then I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer with this Sigma E11 brush. And I decided to do some negative space graphic liner. Yep, that's a thing now. <laughs> but I'm just going in and drawing like a regular cut crease kind of graphic liner, if you know what I mean. So. I'm taking that upwards instead of downwards like I did the other one. And you know, it's just me, me going back and forth, deciding what shape I want, 
because I still didn't know where I was going with it. So yeah, you guys can just watch me. And now I'm going in with Suva Beauty's Hydro Liner in Scrunchie, activating that with MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just taking the back end of a brush and I'm dotting it there. And then I'm taking my Sigma E11 brush. And then I'm drawing two small dots on either side of the large dot. This is when it started looking like something that would be in Star Wars and that's why called it the Star Wars look. So now I'm just taking some of that and running it through my brow since why not tie it all together. And then I'm going in with MAC Red Brick and this Luxie 213 brush and I'm just applying that to my lower lash line. And then I picked up my MAC 239 brush with whatever was left on it and put that on my lower lash line. Going in with NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil, applying that to the inner corner of my eye. And using my finger to kind of smudge it out. Then taking more of MAC Nylon with my Sigma E36 brush. And I am applying that over top. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Liquid Gold Pencil and applying this to my waterline. And then applying House of Lashes Iconics. Taking more of MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer with my Sigma E11 brush. I'm just drawing like a small uh, negative space line underneath of that downwards wing. So I just felt like I tied it in. And this is the finished eye look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're not already. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.